now. That's it, we're done. Holy shit. Right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. Habib's just ruined my first take. It was going brilliantly. However, here we are. Here we have it. Another race chip video is probably what some of you may be thinking. Um, but however, one of the things we're trying to press home with these kind of videos is really the point that, you know, to prove the people out there wrong that saying that, you know, they don't work. Um, and to show people who you know don't have any other tuning options at the moment that you know they can find some more power from the vehicle using you know products like this. Um, so here we go. We've got a, a what's essentially a Mark 8 Golf R um, on stilts. Um, so they've got the T Rock R here. Um, I've got the Mark 8 Golf R engine and drivetrain. Um, this is the very very first one that's going to receive a race chip. So what we're going to do today is. Um, a lot of the development side and um, there shouldn't be too much to do because it'll be close to a Mark 8 Golf R anyway so a bit of development and mainly verification you know to make sure everything's good and it's doing exactly what it should be doing um, and what we're going to do is try and throw in some you know um, draggy time so you can see the improvements you know not just on the dyno but in real real world figures as well or you know out there driving on the road and um, so yeah uh, we're going to get these products installed on the car now. We're going to hit the dyno. Um, we're going to start the uh, login development pro process with Racechip in Germany. And then once that is complete, um, we'll hit the road, do some more data login, make sure everything's good. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll do some uh, draggy times and see you know, exactly what it does. all this money for a car so that the uh, gas strut bonnet stays are a thing of the past on any of the new MQB stuff MQB Evo stuff that I've seen so far so the Golf R the GTI and this all got little crappy bonnet stays um, what the hell Volkswagen Okay, so uh, the car's strapped on the dyno. What we're going to do now is get it set up into dyno mode. Um, so none of the uh, ADAS systems, the camera systems, you know, go, go a bit crazy when you don't do that. Um, sometimes you can end up with faults that, you know, need parts to rectify. So um, obviously we don't want to get in that situation. So the car has obviously built in dyno mode in several control modules. Uh, we'll put that on and then what we'll do is we'll we'll get a stock baseline as we normally do and then we will uh, start tuning it from there. Okay guys, so that's it. The car's off the dyno. Um, it's out here, <laughs> obviously, outside. Um, right, so yeah, uh, the dyno, it made 317 stock. Um, it did a 355 with the race chip on setting seven. Um, 
Out on the road, we took it out. We've just been road testing. Um, we did the draggy times, just not to 60. So we did all our data logging first. And then we've, uh, once we were happy with it, we've gone on to do the sort of zero to 60 times. Uh, best run we did in stock form was a 4.64, not to 60. Um, and then the best run out of the three that we did on um, tuned was uh, 4.14 so you know shave like half a second off the zero to 60 time you know that'll probably equate to you know a faster quarter mile time and obviously a faster 100 to 200 time but obviously we you know we're not a, dra a drag strip today so we won't be testing those so uh, yeah there we have it uh, the race chip on the brand new T-Rock R um, does what it says on the tin like Ron Seal. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> right, anyway, um, like, share, subscribe, and press the dingle, according to Marrakesh over here. He could have panned the camera to Mark then, so he didn't look like I was talking to myself. He could have panned the carpet to car. I know, but he could have panned the camera to you then, so he didn't look like he you were just talking, talking to, to myself. <laughs>